In this project, we'll build an AI team for stock investment due diligence using the NA10 workflow automation platform. This visual approach will streamline our investment research and improve efficiency by minimizing human error and optimizing the processes. The AI agents will work in harmony, enhancing our analysis capabilities and ultimately improving our investment outcomes. The best part really is that the whole workflow will be built visually. And also uh, this workflow will have the ability to customize how detailed we want the reports to be. Now first let's look at uh, the source of information, which is the SEC 10K filings, uh, which is our uh, source of information about the company. Uh, and uh, it typically spans about 200 pages, uh, which this annual report offers really deep insight, enabling a thorough understanding of company's uh, financial health operations and strategic direction. So let's uh, dig into how we're going to build this workflow. So our AI agents is really consist of uh, a structure that mimics a human team for conducting a comprehensive re human research. At the helm of the team is uh, a senior researcher uh, who uh, spearheads the creation of a meticulous research plan and oversees its execution. The senior research analyst is then responsible for delegating tasks to the research analyst team. Our research analyst team composed of actually five diligent members who work closely together with the senior analysts and they look at the instructions and they execute upon those instructions. And finally, in our uh, AI team is a senior editor who also plays a critical role in refining the draft output produced by the uh, research analyst team. So it's uh, the responsibility of the senior editor to polish and perfect the report, making it coherent, engaging, and also uh, suitable for uh, stakeholders. So to build this uh, capability, we're uh, going to be using two templates and I've uh, drawn here a visual of how the templates uh, will work. So on the front end here is um, a team of agents, that, the set of agents that I just described, and their goal is to uh, figure out the right questions to ask uh, about, the, uh, about the company uh, so that uh, they know how to uh, assemble the information in a uh, in insightful way. Um, and then uh, the uh, right-hand side here of this diagram is the second template, uh, which implements uh, the stock analysis uh, question and answer on the SEC 10K data. So you can think of this as uh, the set of agents here is uh, really figuring out what questions to ask and calling into the uh, chat with your data uh, workflow so that you can chat with your SEC 10K, and this is responsible for them providing the information. And then together, uh, this these two uh, templates implement the application. Now, there's also another front end that can be used, uh, which is a, uh, called Crew AI, and there's uh, a separate video uh, for that. Uh, and, and that's uh, uh, a more code approach, uh, but it gives you uh, uh, slightly more flexibility. But for this, this video, we're just gonna be focusing on the NA10 uh, no-code visual approach. All right, so let's first look at an overview of the first uh, workflow. So the first workflow is what I mentioned uh, is on the front end of it. So uh, starting with the, the uh, left here, we have the senior research analysts. As I mentioned, they plan the work, they then delegate the work, and then the researchers here do the work, and the senior editor then uh, uh, polishes uh, the report. And then uh, finally, uh, it's published to uh, this Google uh, Docs. All right, so what's, what does our second workflow look like? So uh, this is where uh, the SEC 10K information is uh, stored. So first, uh, we have two workflows within this template. So step one is upsorting the PDF. So um, you know the starting point here is that we, we assume that the, uh, you can get uh, the SEC 10K PDF uh, from a company website or the SEC uh, uh, database. Uh, so so the assumption here is that uh, you have that in a Google Drive, and then you just execute this flow, and then uh, you have this uh, Qtrain vector store uh, that, uh, that that you can get access to uh, with instructions uh, uh, right right within the, the node. There's instructions uh, in the documentation within the node. And then uh, this uh, populates the database. And then on the right-hand side here is the Q&A. So then the Q&A, uh, is called through what's called a webhook. So the webhook is essentially uh, a URL that is exposed uh, by this template that then uh, can get called. And then the question that is passed into here will then get answered. And then uh, the result will be passed back to um, the, the team of agents. So that's uh, um, an overview of how this application uh, will work. Now let's uh, 
do a quick uh, walkthrough of uh, the, the flow itself and see it running. All right, so we're going to start with uh, the first flow, which is uh, the front end, the, the uh, AI powered automated stock analysis template. So let's go ahead and uh, look at that in action. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go into our URL. Uh, so the URL will be in the link to, on the YouTube video. So this is the first template. I'm going to use this workflow and I'm going to import it. All right, I'm going to select my OpenAI API key and I've already set up my Google Docs account and I'll continue. So let's walk through this a little bit. So first, what we're gonna do is uh, change the settings. So um, here is a, a company that uh, I'm interested in learning more about. It's called uh, iTron. And we're gonna get uh, this uh, webhook uh, right after this, after I described the, the flow. So uh, you're going to need a URL from the second template. So we'll, we'll do that next. And then you can specify how uh, how many sections in the report you want and how long the report. So we can change it to, let's say we want a longer report, 1500. All right, so 1500 words. All right, so we set that. And then you can start looking at the template in terms of what it's doing. So uh, the first one is implementing the senior research analyst. So uh, you know, the backstory is this person is uh, in, working Goldman Sachs and they're focusing on uh, fundamental research for tech companies. And then they have a team of uh, research analysts that will help them uh, with various aspects of the research. So uh, there is a prompt that uh, is, is quite comprehensive that uh, shows um, or that, that tells it what to do here, right? So you can look at more detail here. So then uh, they delegate the work. So this note here, uh, splits the the work to uh, the various researchers. So if you look here, what it will, it will tell it to do is um, uh, it, it will uh, go in and ask for each section to have uh, a prompt that is uh, created. So if you look at the various sections, um, it's going to create uh, it's going to it's going to create a, um, a agent for uh, each section, so that each research agent will uh, will will uh, research one part of of uh, the report. So so this is how uh, it delegates the work. So this one will take uh, that plan and then split it out to the agents. And then for each of the for each of the items here for each of the sections, we're going to then go to the this prompt here where this implements uh, the specific research analysts and what they're going to do. Right. So they're going to take a look at the company and they're going to uh, they're going to um, do their part in terms of what the senior research analyst uh, has set for them. So you can uh, look at the prompt in here of how that's implemented. And then finally, uh, we have the senior editor and they are then responsible for uh, combining all the sections and then doing a draft report uh, and then uh, polishing it. And then finally, uh, we go ahead and create the Google Docs. So in here, you can specify um, uh, here that the name and then uh, the, the the folder name that uh, that that uh, you have for your uh, Google Docs. So we'll we'll set that up uh, shortly. All right, but um, so you have this flow. So I'll, I'll set it here. But uh, this is uh, dependent on the Q and A uh, flow. So how it executes the Q and A flow is something called uh, this tool here. Okay. So this tool, what it does is that um, it it will uh, uh, it, it will uh, be used when um, the senior analyst uh, needs to figure out uh, more information about the company. So uh, there's a description here of when to use this tool, and then in here is when uh, is how it calls into um, our our SEC 10K Q and A. So there's it, it uses this URL and then uh, calls into it uh, with um, with, with with the company that we're interested in, in asking about, right? So that's that's how that that works. Now let's now go into uh, the, uh, the the second template and then set that up, and then we'll come back to this template. All right. So for the second template, we go to uh, the second URL, and that's also going to be uh, linked in the uh, YouTube video uh, uh, description. So I'll, I'll use this template, and then I'll go ahead and import that. And also have already my Google Drive set up as well as my 
uh, Qtrain vector store set up as well as uh, my OpenAI. So we'll start that. And then what you'll have here is uh, a, a, um, a upserting section as well as a Q&A. So for the upserting, uh, what we're going to do is uh, find in here the uh, SCC data that we got from uh, providing it, uh, putting into the Google Drive from before. So I'm going to select from uh, this list here, and it's going to be uh, Iron, Itron, all right, here, all right. And then I'm going to now uh, run this flow. All right, so this, I'll just run it here. So this downloads the file. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to set uh, the collection to itron, okay? And then I will run it. So this will upload it to my vector store. All right, so now it's uploaded to my vector store. And now in here, uh, I'm just gonna specify here game itron, All right? So it, it, this uh, actually already has uh, something that comes from my uh, webhook, so so it's going to automatically pick from from the the right company. All right, so um, I have this flow set up now in here in my webhook. All right, I'm going to uh, copy this URL. All right, so I've copied that, and I'm going to now go back to my first flow. Okay, and set it here all right so this what this will do is uh as as this research team needs the information from scc 10k it's going to run this tool and this tool will go back into this step here this q a and call the webhook and then retrieve the information from the vector store okay so let's see that working so let me just first save this, the changes I made, and then I'll go ahead here and then uh, run it. All right, so you can see it running and then it's calling into this tool. You can see getting information from that tool and it's using it to plan the work. Right. And you can see it uh, thinking and working through the plan. And then right afterwards, it's going to uh, delegate the work to uh, the five researchers. And each of the researchers is now using the tool. And again, the tool is calling uh, back into our second workflow that does the Q&A. And then it combines it in here. All right, this will take uh, just uh, a, a 10 or 20 seconds more. It should be almost done. So you can see that every time it's asking uh, for information, it's going to here. And I've also included uh, Wikipedia so that if it needs additional information, it can also uh, go into Wikipedia as another tool. All right, so then it combines information and then the senior editor generates the report publishes the report and then uh, pushes it to uh, the Google Docs and then uh, it updates the document. So now it's done. Okay, so uh, that's that's uh, how the flow is put together. And I, I've put together in the links, uh, the template links for the uh, first template as well as the second template.